the time from the late 50s has been called the Space Age and the Information Age. The Information Age better describes the last 70 years. The true Space Age may be dawning. If Elon's promise of $10 a kilogram to get to orbit comes true, average people will be able to afford the trip to space. However, getting to lower Earth orbit doesn't really get the average person a whole lot when it comes to chemical fuel. Hydrogen gets you the most lift for its weight, so you can get more propellant to orbit when the upper stage uses hydrogen. Starship, on the other hand, uses methane on both stages. Starship's ability drops way off when you try to get past lower Earth orbit, so it's not like you'll be able to join that next gold rush in the asteroid belt. So why bother at all with Starship. Well, one of the things that SpaceX Starship skeptics like to ignore is refueling in space. If Starship is fully reusable, you could go almost anywhere you want in the solar system by refueling in orbit. It could take up to 17 refueling flights to fully refuel a Starship, but that's a lot less than the current cost to go beyond low Earth orbit, and still within the reach of the average person. 